Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hi everybody. We are back with part 42 of our Echo the Dolphin <laughs> Defender of the Future Let's Play. 42, man. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we got past the eel and now um, we're going to solve this riddle again. Yeah. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah. So we all, we hope you're doing well. Like, uh -huh. My voice is a little less dry, so I can talk a little bit more, but I still might take breaks. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> now we're making progress. Yes. No, no, we're getting somewhere. Sorry for several parts of pain. Yeah, well, we made it. We did. And that's what's important. Ancient and impressionable, inscrutable and unbelievable. One touch. One. That's Oh, oh, thank God we start <laughs> here. We had to pass back the hill again. Yeah. I think I'd oh. lose my mind. So would I. Uh, air. Air! 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 Finally. Oh. So we, so we finally reached a part of the game we can be safe in Yay. and won't get back to yeah yeah this series is probably going to be our longest show I oh yeah honest. definitely so at least for a little while <laughs> yep look at that Ooh. whoa now this is a callback yeah remember when echo could turn into a fish yeah, tides of time. Yeah. Hmm. I believe... Oh yeah, we... Wow, our swimming ability is... slower. But at least I don't see our air depleting, so... Yeah, because fish don't need air. Yeah. Yeah. I believe we go through... Yeah, he's small enough to go through the grate. Ah. And we start a new part. Yay. Mantis lost. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, and I think I left the book where you are. So awesome. Yes, Kevin's got the guidebook if you're curious. Oh, we turned back into a dolphin. Despite the complaints and issues I've had with the game, it's beautiful. And we're making the effort of playing this on the Dreamcast. Which I think is awesome. So much to do still. How much to do? This is stage. 42 parts and we're finally at level 9. <laughs> Thirty levels. Thirty yeah. levels. Yep. Oh, good gracious, this is gonna be part two hundred and seventy-five <laughs> when we finish this game. <laughs> when are we ever gonna get to more Sonic game on this channel? That's a billion-dollar question. Is that a spaceship? But there are strange gems around. Perhaps those? Yeah. Okay, so we got some sea turtle action, we got some fish. Oh, that's a sea I wonder if that's the gate that he's going to open up once we get the gems. Maybe. Power of the 
Grabs it in his mouth. <laughs> Cute. I wanna go get some air. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> and lots of glory. Yeah. Many glory. Rats us the origins of the I swear I've seen the bomb in the Echo, I didn't see you come in before the gate collapsed. Aha, let's see, is this where we need to go? accurate because if you drink too much milk you're gonna get fat. Yeah, <laughs> not the super tall, more like the 
their point is that it supports bones. Yes. Yeah, but yes, people drink too much milk, and it can be bad. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking of that commercial part. Well, no, it's more proportionate than in Mario Bros. Right. You could compare it to, even though this was way before this item came out, the Mega Mushroom. Yeah, when you begin. Huge enough that you can destroy everything in your path, including the pipes. <laughs> but, um. Unfortunately, in the case of Mario Beats Coopzilla, while he became giant size, he also looked fat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, uh, <laughs> yeah. They were going for maybe like a squid, but yeah, um, yeah. That that episode had a lot of bad stereotypes. I mean, cooked seafood pasta, yes. Sushi and pasta. Yeah. And have that stuff in the world of sushi instead of sushi. I don't think the creators cared to yeah. differentiate. I do not think. Oh, sushi's raw fish, so I think that raw fish. Yeah. Which actually is such a for that specifically uh, I I know what you're referring to though I'll, I'll just say this that you're thinking about mukbangs yeah um, I'm 
chart. I think I'm bringing back a lot. I mean, I don't know. I have a much. Um, you know where you can see that. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. Much. Yeah, that that's what Connor's referring to. And he's referring to he saw something a lot of seafood. Yeah. Um, so that's why he's really. Yeah, I think ingesting that much raw seafood is a bad idea. Um, frankly, ingesting that much seafood all at once is not a good idea. Uh, but especially raw. There is. Have you been able to find out anything about what happened? One moment the gardening. One moment the guardian was fine, then it exploded. Whoa. That's not good. But yeah, uh, wash it off. This is not good, Echo. What will we do if the guardian cannot be mended? Glad you're here. I don't feel safe with the guardian broken. I would feel a lot safer if Sonic were here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would too. We were watching. <laughs> we were watching some of that. Oh, we've been slowly working through Sonic X. Yes. We've made it to season three. Yes. Which apparently was made mostly for the American fans. Yeah. As we found out. Apparently. And it took Japan a while to the Japanese fans a while to actually see it. Yeah. Because they took forever to release it. <laughs> in general had its moments where it narratively just got really sloppy and confusing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, and no effect. This is coming from somebody who was a fan for the most part because at the time Sonic X, in terms of the parts with the Sonic characters, was the closest thing I could get to a video game accurate anime or cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> All the adaptations. Really, to this day, all the other adaptations are not as faithful. Exactly. And Sonic X isn't faithful enough. But yeah, despite that, there are a lot of things I have issues with with Sonic X. Right. Those women involving a Thorndike. Yes. Uh, I am uh, not a fan of Chris, the human main character. And it's not... I guess the saddest part is it's not like a, oh I hate all the human characters in Sonic X. That's not the case. There are some well done human characters. Chris is just not one of them. <laughs> so my 
apologies to those of you who are actually a fan. Yes. I know I'm not the only person who dislikes Chris. I annoyed at him. Yep. Um, most annoying of which he doesn't have to exist. They, they literally did not have to have Sonic leave his world. Sonic and friends leave their world. Um, they could have just done something in his world. His world. Uh, that's all I'm going to say so I don't get copyrights. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> I'm referencing the theme song to Sonic 06. got past the driving Sonic stage, <laughs> uh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm thinking back then I wasn't as picky about games having glitches. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I think a lot of people have problems with the story, but... Which is sad, because most of uh, Sonic saves a yeah. princess and does good deeds and you're to the Sonic Adventure. I mean, when I found out much later that... Oh, we're actually past our time. Oh, crap, right. Uh, I will this up next time. Okay. Alright, guys, well, uh, we'll figure out where to go in the next part thank you guys for joining us thank and, you and uh, we'll see you next time see you too bye bye